Therefore, today I'm going to show you how to install Mari uh, 2.0 on Linux. So the first thing is that you have all the zip file. You see, you uh, run it somewhere, and then you uh, you pull it to desktop, or you pull it somewhere, and then you do a write permission like this. For example, uh, I have it in the desktop folder, so you can do a write permission like that, and then you execute. Then you uh, drag and drop it again, and if you run the command, you press enter, it will run the whole way through. And then it will create a folder. Let me come here. It will create a folder like this. So once this folder is created, I simply move it to the place where I usually store, especially in this place. It's opt, so I move it here, so I can uh, launch the command from that. However, uh, from version two point zero upward. Uh, even uh, solid angle, uh, no, not solid angle. I even nuke as well. You need to have these little things, uh, these little little Linux things to install. Uh, so you need to run the command. So the first thing is you need to change the directory. Okay, let me show you. You run this. When it is run, it create a folder. So you copy that folder into OPT or to wherever you like. And after that, you have to install this FLT in here. So if you want to install it, you need to change the directory CD in this case. Let me kill all this command line. So you CD change the directory into that folder. Press enter. And then you will launch this. This is the command to install that one uh, because of this. So I'm going to press enter and then you want to continue. Yes, it runs through and it's done. However, there are certain things you will need to do. Uh, look at the crack. Uh, this is the foundry license. Um, if you come to a Linux installation display, it will tell you that you run this command and then you stop the license server so if you want to stop the license server you have to just copy that as in the crack copy it paste it oops what did i type here run it and it will stop the license server so that's a fully stop the all alum server copy the crack or alum boundary so where's the crack uh, it's in the crack or um, this one Mac, this one is 32 bit, this one is uh, make sure that it's yeah, this one is 64 bit. Copy it, so it tells you copy to where copy it to US or local foundry, whatever you guys can do the command copy sudo cp dash all and you can drag and drop it and then you type in this command but it doesn't work my friend uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so the best way is to change mode by giving the right permissions to that folder for example USO local foundry so you come to USO you go to local you go to foundry licensing tool you go to bin you see this all um, right there so if you write permission to that folder drag and drop press enter and then you go into all of them you simply kill that one kill the original one and you replace it with the new one that you have already just copies and then you withdraw the right condition from that and override it right so now everything is done all you have to do is edit the license.link replace the host name of your address so uh, the best way to find out about your host name is to run this command so where can where can you run this command right you copy it this command is right there on your desktop oh, where's my folder boundary uh, here in Mari uh, that command is uh, in this one I think yeah so let me try that no let me simply paste that okay host ids of this machine is local host local domain or whatever i do believe i have already have that uh, in place let me look for that somewhere 
there. Host ID is on mine. It's not around. If not, then it's going to be a big work for me. Um, my documents. You don't see it here, so I come to uh, this. Here is the host IDs of mine. Uh, you see exactly like uh, what I've typed. So my host, uh, my host is localhost dot local domain, and this is uh, the Ethernet address of mine. So if you want to find out about Ethernet address, you have to come to this, and then you click on each one. See that? So you see, you just copy it without this. Um, I don't know what's called to be colored or whatever. One, then I have two. So. Oops, uh, yeah. So you just copy this whole th whole thing, and then you come back to uh, Mari. You come back to crack. You see the license dot link here, and look at the instruction. What does instruction, the instruction say? Uh, the instruction say that tell you that it did XF foundry license dot link foundry dot link right which is this one replace host name and make address point so if you come back there you go there you see the host name you see the host name and make address that's what they say do not do not remove host here the instruction is here the instruction is that replace just the host name and port address a lot of people tend to be stupid I'm sorry to say that they they, they cannot understand the instruction so they simply replace replace all of this so the instruction is only this one so you copy and paste there you go and then you click save fantastic so now uh, you can run that command just like it do you see the local name and then what do they tell you to do you copy that one to where copy it to where is it? Copy it to USR local foundry all alum. So you need to give rights permission to that folder. Make sure that press copy. USR local foundry and then all alum. There it is. So you give write permission to that folder. Press enter. Paste it in there. Let's see. And then I re retract the permission again. I mean, I, I withdraw the permission, override the permission, and then I, I need to start. So if this one is stopped, then I need to start. Copy and paste it. Okay, reloading all unlicensed. So now, since my Mari is right here, it's difficult for me to launch from that, so I need to create a shortcut. Here I call it uh, Marie 2.01 021. The icon I have already copied that from Google, so this is Marie. And then I browse to the commands, which is out opt la la la, and I click Marie. And let's see if the magic happened or not. A miracle. When you click that, it run baby. And then it was looking for a folder for caching. I don't have a SD card. It's just normal. Uh, SATA, so I go to Meteor, I go to Projects, no it's not a project, I go to Cache, and Mari Cache, this folder is used for American. make sure that that folder is clean, it doesn't have anything <coughs> super clean, otherwise Mari will crash, so you press OK, and Mari will launch, right, you press OK again, Mari 2.0 is working my friend, uh, once Mari is working, Noob is simply just a click away and it will run. So, press enter just to see if it's working or not. Damn man, I used the pan. Let me have it. Okay, now it's loading. Okay, all I have to do is to come back to edit, preferences, uh, in navigation, I would choose Maya because I prefer Maya. Right. This is using Maya, you see all the Maya icon here. Maya 2011, 2013, 14, blah blah blah. And I use the C9 demo just for testing. 
However, 3D equalizer is what I actually use mainly. This one is also a demo version. I hope I can do the magic soon to make it real time. If, yeah, you can draw, you see, you can draw easily with your Wacom. I increase the radius. Right. You can test with uh, a lot of this. I think I don't need to show you how to do that because uh, Normon DVD it was very good. They have a Normon stuff, which is cool. Uh, you can come to shader, shell, yeah. You can come to hot brush, soft brush, organic brush somewhere. Yeah, this is the organic brush. Save. Uh, however, I mostly uh, do the texture painting in uh, in Matbox since I, I I'm not crazy with with, with the whole stuff of um, since I'm not crazy with uh, the high detail resolution or whatever uh, because um, yeah that is enough for me. If you have you like to do feature films or feature animated film for a game, cinematic trailer for a game or whatever, then Mari would be the best because it, it can do a lot of UV tile absolutely at high resolution. Uh, 1K, 1K each. Uh, you see the 1K is simple, but you look at it. Each one is 1K, so it's supposed to look like wow, tons of K for you. So I'm not too crazy about that. I don't want to see the movie. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, folks. Hope you like it. And don't just view it, subscribe it because there, if you are a Linux user who are not uh, really, really an advanced user just like me, then I'm pretty sure I can manage to do a lot of stuff for you guys to have a community to grow. I mean, of course, we do all of this just for learning purpose. Uh, we don't, uh, for me, I don't use that for my personal use to get money or anything. Because I'm good, I am an animator for a Japanese game company, so the rest, everything at work is licensed. That's what they have to pay for but for, for work for home I of course it crack it is wrong but uh, it's it's for my learning purpose only is there any way I can get to learn all this stuff great stuff but they are having to crack all this application right okay bye my friends and see you next time with the installation of furthermore thing hope you like it if I have 1000 you I promise you I will show you the solid angle how to install solid angle and render on Bye-bye.